Yo, hello there guys, welcome back my delicious friends to a little bit more of Let's Play No Man's Sky live on twitch.tv forward slash Mikey Mega Mega. A pleasure to have you as ever. Strange things, I am the traveller. And uh, we're going to vibe our sweet selves up into finding the mysterious messenger by making our way into space. Guys, we have found my favourite planet so far. This planet with the floating rocks and the beautiful light synchronised fungus. It's incredible. 10 out of 10. Would build a base here. Probably will. But before we do that, let's get up into orbit. Let's see what there is to see. Oh, that was what I wanted to look at. There was that stone marker. There was another translation thing. Oh, what's this? Wait, can I shoot this? I can shoot this. One sec. Is shooting stuff an option? Am I a good guy or a bad guy? Is this okay? Is this okay to do? My standing's decreased! Oh no! The Viking don't like me! Oh no. Oh, my standing went down. Should I have done that? I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh. Ooh. If its tail is green, it's friendly. And you're basically being a pirate. <laughs> Kid Luden, you liberated it. Guys, I liberated that ship out of the sky. Uh, oh, did I just kill an innocent traveler? Feed creature, I still don't have any food pellets. What, can I help it with my gun? Yeah, it's dead. This one's like crying over the body. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're such a beautiful creature. These look like Energon cubes. Does anybody remember Transformers Energon cubes? Hey, that, that shit was dope. I've got one more thing of... Uh, I think I've got enough resources to make another Starship Warp Cell. Now, I really like this planet, guys. We're on the Awakenings part where we're supposed to fly around in space. But I think we're going to take a little tour of this planet and find whatever might be relatively cool for... Uh, a cheeky bit of base building. Explore this planet for clues or rare items. Ooh, 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 wait, cash, cash. How far away is that? Oh my God. Wait, how? Is that the copper there? No, uh, this might take 10 minutes. Artwork work before bedtime. It, it's a bug mimosa. <laughs> A bug mimosa sounds like the least delicious drink you can buy on your Jamaican holiday. I'm just going to start chunking it. It's scary. It's really scary, huh? Mm. All I remember is piss and spiders. Jem is correct. Wah! 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 What happened to my guy? Did you see that? <laughs> Yo! My, wow, I just I just became Neo for a moment. I'm so sorry. For a little moment, I was Neo and I just flew up. Okay. I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> Memory of the Viking. Dot a bank, dot a bank, dot a bank. I see two large aliens locked in combat. Eventually one triumphs, leaving the victim bleeding to death. With the last of their strength, the vanquished alien gestures towards me. The name Viking floats in my vision. You have learned the Viking word for Viking. Yo, so I'm in a Viking system. Now, it's a it's a real shame because I'm Gek till I die and I love the Gek life. But this is the first system that I've really been in love with and it's a Viking system. I'm talking about how beautiful this planet is and I'm destroying the landscape. Ooh. Oh, it's more of these um, boxes. More cube. Oh. Oh, this is beautiful. I can't pick up any more. Oh, I can only stack five in any one go. But that is 30 grand's worth. 
I'll eat more of these livers. <coughs> Typical human. Take it from the Viking. Ah, oh, we're all being woke and sad at the same time. Ooh, a glowing mineral. What is this? I can't scan it. I can only take it. I've got a green glowing mineral from that big pink thing. Mm. We'll come back to that. A valuable rock sample. Analyze with E. It's Aronium. It's an alloy metal. Whoa, and that is worth 25,000 units. Holy shit. I need a better laser. <gasps> Yo, I need to craft a whole load of metal. Okay, guys, this is it. This is it, guys. I have loads of magnetized ferrite. I'm going to make a load of metal plates. Metal plates are super useful. <clears throat> Get a real cargo ship. Do you know what, dude? I want to. If you know me, you know I love inventory, and I think a cargo ship would be a good idea. So far, we've just got our personal pilot, which I do love. I think this is where we got summoned to. Have we just randomly found that again? What are the odds of that? How do I land in those green green things I have no idea if this is exactly the same one or something brand new log extraction complete life goes on day after day delivering psh. hope to go home soon the life of a psh is not one for me Multiple sentinel entry signatures detecting, requiring immediate... Oh, not sentinels. Dropping out of warp. The sentinels. What are they doing? No. Fighting each other. The sentinels appear to have departed. Distress signal nearby. Broadcasting 16 on repeat. I'm going to take a look. Yo, someone similar to me was also investigating. Afraid to salvage. Salvage materials from the wreck. Oh, but I don't have any inventory. <clears throat> okay, I really want to mark this location. If I put a base computer here, it's going to act as a marker. That's not the smartest way to do it, I'm sure. Now that, that base computer is going to act as a marker, right? No, no prior claim to the site. Do a sonar test. Yeah, 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 let's go. No, I'm not making this my base. Well, I could do, to be fair. We're going to make our base somewhere nicer. But I just want to make sure I'll be able to find this again when I come back. Alright, let's go. Okay, go into space and press X for clues. So there's Geo Prius. Starship Communicator. Incoming transmission. Source unknown. You are not alone. Please identify yourself. I'm... You left me. Why did you... I don't understand. Of course you'd say that. You're just like the others. The communicator falls silent. The channel remains open. Oh, that's creepy. What else does X do? Recharge thrusters? Oh, I can do... Oh, I can do all of that from here, can I? Photo mode. Mm hmm. Let's 
Let's get to that space station. Big red flag in a relationship. Yep. Oh, yeah. So stuff like most most women are bitches, but you're different. Uh... That's not a compliment. <laughs> that's, that's not the compliment you think it is. That's a warning sign. This is so cool. Oh! Ah! Oh! That'll be the anomaly. <laughs> Sorry. Hostile. Fuck. Oh, that's not the anomaly. That's bad guys. Pulse drive disabled. Hostile ships in range. Yo, can I shoot them? Yo, they're red. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. My ship. You motherfuckers. Yo, evasive maneuvers. Let's go around the space station for some cover. Oh my god, I didn't realize you could get attacked by pirates. I thought I was the aggressor. Yo, get fucked. Starship at full capacity. Yo, did those assholes come out of that giant orange thing? I thought that was the anomaly that people were talking about. I'm now neutral. Where's that anomaly gone? Yeah, well, b bad guys came out of it. I don't think that was the anomaly that I was looking for. That that just splooged some enemies. That, I thought that was the anomaly, but I'm guessing it wasn't. Anyway, I defended myself. So legally, legally, I'm not to blame. Ooh! Sorry. Hello. Do you know anything about pirates? You and me, friends. What, what if you said something to your mum? As I approach the Gek, I become aware of a thin mist surrounding them. It's lightly, almost pleasantly scented. But I can't feel a, help but feel a deep apprehension. Tolly Gek Limil leans towards me, their reptilian eyes large with anticipation. I recall several Gek words. I like saying Simphy Gek, that usually helps. He giggles, unable to take me seriously. They have nothing to say to this sort of language? Oh no. What about you? You're a Viking, right? Oh, he's the Brigadier. He's trying to sign people up. Anyway, let's have a look in the other place. Rumsuko's Reckless Savior. Oh, I can talk to it. Oh, I'm very enterprising. Thanks for noticing. Yeah, bl <laughs> blasting rock diva. Locate the pilot to begin. Oh, I can trade with the other ships. Oi, let's lowlin up sheep and have wax a dymo. Would you like to buy? Oh, they might have different rates than the automatic trading places. Do you want some condensed carbon? What do you have? I can buy metal plating. Oh, yo. Microprocessors. Ooh. They, they cost 19 grand. I might I might buy some of these. They're really fucking useful, right? An ion battery. Convenient and optimized for defensive hazard protection systems. These metal platings are nice and cheap. I might grab a couple right now. Yo, he's got a funky little chunky boy. The Hammer of Devastation. I doubt it. Negotiation price. What would I... Oh, I'd offer him items and money. I don't want to buy it. But I'm just curious as to how that mechanic worked. Ooh, what about this, though? Yo, talk to me about this. Yo. Prefect how? Oi, let's lend up Shiv and Habwax to Dymo. Oh, this looks really funky. Holy... Yo. 
Um, damage potential. It's got less damage. Oh, it's got slightly more damage potential than mine. My damage potential is a bit higher. Shield strength and hyperdrive range are exactly the same. All I would, all I'm paying for is these extra inventory slots. Okay, maybe not. But it looks really cool, though. It looks really, really cool. Now, this, I think, is where I... Yes, yes. This is what I was looking for the entire time. Finally, this is what I was looking for, guys. We haven't even visited this planet. Look. I'm going to land. Let's go straight in and land. Just for the sake of dust we trust. Then I can make those plates and I can make the housing for the rest of the um, uh, warp fuel. Move your life support too. I can move everything into there? You can get some buffs if you put them together. Yeah, that's what I thought I was doing. So if I take my life support, move to move to technology. Oh! Oh, everything goes. Everything goes. Everything must go. So can my jetpack become technology? Okay, awesome. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god, that makes my life so much more easy. Okay, let's get some ferrite dust by blasting the, uh... Let's do some, uh... Lambasting. Oh wait, there's, there's a blue... There's, is that a relic over there? Oh, there's not enough fuel in my uh, launch majigger. One sec. I'm just trying to blast rocks again. Sorry. Now we've got maximum amount of spare warp cells, which means I can now go, I can now warp travel to 10 different systems or nine new systems and come back again. And in each one of those systems, I can spend 10,000 to open up more of these inventory slots. That right is fucking massive. That is our game plan. Also some geodes, which I can analyze and an analyze. Oh, more dust. Crystal fragments. Okay, good. Now we're actually cooking with gas. Okay. I need some new slots for this. Guys, I have got 500,000 units and I need about 2 million more to buy that really, really good gun. I might legit farm for it. Dreams of uh, Duest Izu. I'm so dehydrated. I'm still waiting for my food to turn up. It's either going to come in an hour or it's going to come in three hours, my food shop. But I do have some lunch to cook, which we're going to cook after this episode. How are we doing for time? I felt a strange chill. A layer of frozen gas suddenly coats the monolith from bottom to top. It's so cold I can see my breath inside my helmet. There is one small gap in the crystal ice and I feel convinced that I could feed some of my mind elements through it so they can come into contact with monolith behind. Yo. Let's insert organic elements. The frozen gas melts into the atmosphere. I am rewarded. You have learned, what was that? Conscript Mega Mega. I learned an Atlas word. And my standing's gone up with the Viking. Again! I was really worried about that ever since I shot down a ship. <laughs> like a psychopath. But, uh, yo, my Viking standing has now increased. Alright, we'll take that. Can I use this again? They accept my presence. The ancients will tolerate a request. I need a Viking dagger. Oh, yo, if I get a dagger, I'll be able to, like, semi-sacrifice it at one of these places. Very, very cool. Okay, so that leaves this whole wrecked area here. Um, and there's a little spaceport just on the other side of this ridge. And there's a load of materials to mine just down there. My delicious friends, we will be doing all of that in the next episode. All right, guys, thank you very much for hanging out and take care.